with you. This country is a great country. This country is all we have. I don't know if some of y'all have second homes that you could move to and move out of this country, but I don't, I'm not that fortunate. But I want to ask all of you to join us on a quest where we truly be peacemakers. Because whatever tone and however we shape this country, guess what? When you go and have children, they're going to have to be a part of what you shape. When they go to the schools, they're going to have to go to the schools that you create. The communities that you create, they're going to have to live in it. I ask you a question today. Do you want your children to live in the community that you create right now? If you don't, I want to invite you to join me and become a solution and not a problem. You become a solution, we can see a better Bahamas. If we see a better Bahamas, we're going to see a better world. I want this Bahamas to emanate where two leaders rise up. Not just followers. Anybody can be a follower. The state, these chicken was out in the rod. They were scratching, looking for food, because that's what chicken do. They scratch, and they look for food. But on this particular day, one of the chicken got his eyes off the ground, and he looked into the sky, and he saw this eagle just soaring on his majestic wings. Oh, how I wish I could fly, like that eagle said the chicken. But the other chicken around him telling, boy, shut up, boy. You can't fly. You just a chicken. Scratching the for food because that's what we do. My brothers and sisters, he went right back scratching and looking for food. But on the very next day, again they were out in the yard scratching, looking for food. Again the chicken looked into the sky. And they surprised the same eagle that he had seen on the previous day. He saw again, just soaring on his majestic wings. Acting on an impulse, he just broke off running and began to flop his wings vigorously. Before he knew it, he was in the air, soaring with the eagle. My brothers and sisters, he had been an eagle all along. It just that everyone keeps telling him that he's a chicken. I saw by here in the 17 annual Nelson Cooper Peace on the Street basketball classic to let you know, every one of you, that you ain't no chicken, that you are eager, that you are born to soar. See, folks used to tell me that I was a chicken, so I act like a chicken. But when I realized that I was really an eager, I bowed up my wings and I started to become somebody in life. I was an always the way I am. My life was an easy coming up. These hands right here carry a lot of guns. Smoke a lot of dope. I sold a lot of dope. I did a lot of things that I'm not proud of. But I believe that God in this infinite wisdom allowed the imperfections of some people to bring out the perfections in other people. So I've, de I've dedicated my life to helping some of you find yours. And if you would join me on this journey, I can tell you that it would be a wonderful experience that you will find yourself in the process because you can never help somebody in life without first helping yourself. 
We're about to get started right now. But I want you seriously to think about what I said today. Our streets, man, it's crazy, man. It's hard to go some place as a family and enjoy yourself. Are you a part of the solution or are you a part of the problem? Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, dear God, in every word that was spoken in this room would not fall on death ground. Now we take authority over this place right now. We bind every spirit, every demonic force that would seek to disrupt what you've assigned us to do in this place. So Father God, create a mantle today. Create an environment for sportsmanship, for love, for peace, for unity. And we thank you at the end of the day that you'll get some glory from this labor force today. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hi, my brothers and sisters. I am standing at the newly constructed whole community center. I need your help to complete this. We have done as much as we are able to do with the resources that were available to us. I need you to partner with me in this venture and together help us to help this nation by providing positive alternatives to the lifestyle that most of our young people are forced to live right now. Too many murders in our country. Be a part of the solution. Call me, write to me, say, look here, I want to help you. I want to support this venture. Look forward to hearing from you now. We're watching Hope for the Hopeless. I'm here with the organizer, the founder, Apostle Carlos G. Reed. How you doing, Apostle Reed? I'm doing good, man. <laughs> That's good. Apostle Reed. What was in your mind when you decided to, to invent the Peace on the Street Basketball Tournament? You know, when we started the Peace on the Street Basketball Classic, we really wanted to give young people uh, an avenue to express their talents. You know, uh, a lot of young people get to play in the hood or in the outdoor courts, but we wanted to create a classic, a first class event where we could showcase our young people. Sounds good, sounds good. I noticed this, 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 this tournament is, is, a, is a bit much, you know. It, what, do you, what, do you, what, what keeps you going, trying to make it bigger and better every year? Just being able to look in the stands and see all these young people, look at the court and seeing these young people, seeing young people come to you, they're asking you questions because they only get to see you on television or hear you on the radio, you know, just uh, to be able to get up close with some of them and be able to encourage them, give them some words of advice. I think that's what it's all about. What, what kind of impact do you see this tournament having on the community at large? Anything that promotes peace, particularly in a time like when our country is under siege as far as it relates to crime and violence. You know, our country right now to date as uh, we are having this, uh, this classic 72 murders in this country. Last year we experienced 127. Anything that promotes peace, that talks about peace, that exhibit peace is... A positive in this time. That's a good idea. That's that's good, Apostle Reed. Hey, what it do? You're watching Hope for the Hopeless. I'm down here at the Nelson Cooper Peace on the Street Basketball Classic, one of the biggest and most anticipated games of the season. I'm right here chilling with uh, Mr. Dwayne Dean. I just want to get your input. What do you think? Well, what are some of your expectations for the game uh, in this week? Well, actually, this is my first time attending the Classic, so... Um I listened to Mr. Carlos Reed on the um, talk show today, and I was kind of impressed with some of the things that he said. So actually, I came down just to see um, exactly what kind of talent the guys had to display. And then at least one of the real motivations that, that got me is my son played tonight. Um, I missed his game, but I think, um, like he told me that they did extremely well. And he don't call for a couple of people, so um, I'm waiting with great anticipation to see what will happen in this next game.
I'm strong. You know, we had the possible support game coming up on Friday night. Who do you see winning, the, winning that game? Well, I think the pastors are going to stump them again. You know, I don't know if the politicians are going to come with a game plan. I know some of them have been working out, but uh, nonetheless, you know, the pastors are kind of tough. The pastors bring it every year. So, so I think, uh, and they, they're the crowd's favorite, so my money can be on the pastors. I think it's good for the country to see that the pastors and politicians can come together and in, in a fun environment and um, enjoy themselves. I am pulling for the pastors, however, um, because that's why I would like to see win. Um, but whatever, whoever wins the game, I'm quite sure they're gonna play hard and we're gonna enjoy ourselves. I say stand in this graveyard, think about all the senseless killing that we get going on in our country. Our country is too small for the amount of murders that we're having right now. I want to encourage you, man. Let's bring some peace to our streets. Let's stop all the senseless killing. Let's stop all of these different graves from coming up out of the ground. You and I together, let's bring some peace to our streets. I'm here with the Peace on the Street Basketball Classic. I'm here with Dudley Stairs from Reach Out Ministries, all the way from Freeport. How you doing, Dudley? Pretty good, man. I'm so happy, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, we're the only Family Island team here uh, come to support Carlos Reed. He's doing a, such a tremendous job. I think the government should give him a million dollars for the job he's doing because what he's doing, he's saving lives. Uh, when you have a bunch of young men like this, uh, with the government doing no crime go down, uh, we have over three, almost 500 young men in the gym, uh, and this is a wonderful thing that Carlos Reed is doing here in Nassau. Seeing that all these murders we have inside the country today, uh, games and tournaments like this uh, create an environment for players to come from different constituency to come and play on one court and one love and one unity. What do you think about that? Well, to be honest, right, I mean, like you said, there's a lot of crime and thing going on right now, right? And I mean, I would just like to encourage the young brothers, I mean, I mean as far as possible as they can stay away from it, you know what I mean? Just stay away, because right now we're losing too much of our young brothers, you know what I mean? Because if they ain't locked up in Fox, then, you know what I mean? They're like six feet under, you see what I'm saying? Then it's like almost every day a mother got to cry for a child, you see what I'm saying? I mean, it really hurts, you know, we have to lose them just like that, you see what I'm saying? But I really hope that, you know, people just could wake up and realize, um, you know, the crime just don't pay off, you see what I'm saying? Like, right now, I have a junior team playing in this tournament, you know what I mean? And they're from, like, the, what we call ghetto areas, you know what I mean? And I just try to see if I could just get them away from that negative activity and just come out there and play ball, you see what I'm saying? All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Hope for the hopeless. Nelson Cooper, peace on the street, basketball classic. Don't you touch that down. Hi, my brothers and sisters. I am standing at the newly constructed whole community center. I need your help to complete this. We have done as much as we are able to do with the resources that were available to us. I need you to partner with me in this venture and together help us to help this nation by providing positive alternatives to the lifestyle that most of our young people are forced to live right now. Too many murders in our country. Be a part of the solution. Call me, write to me, say, look here, I want to help you. I want to support this venture. Look forward to hearing from you now.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Hope for the Hopeless. This is, an, this is an exciting edition that you do not want to miss. I'm down here with BTC star maker, friend Sean Dawkins. What do you think about the Nelson Cooper Basketball Classic so far and how you think it's going? Well, this is my first night out and it's pretty exciting. You know, I'm getting to see a lot of kids, you know, perform and do what they do best. And, you know, it's a really positive arena and I'm glad we're in here and we all can work together and have fun instead of being out in the streets, you know, fighting and disagreeing with each other. You know, it's so nice to see everybody just, you know, like getting along. Excellent. Uh, games like this created an, an environment for players to come and associate with each other in one card and one love and peace and unity. How important do you think tournaments like this is for the nation? It's very important. Um, tournaments like these need to happen more than once a year, you know, not just in the summer, you know, all year round, you know. Um, just to continue to keep that idea of love and unity in the in people's minds so you know there will be less fighting and less like wars and stuff like that yeah okay and the game on friday night the much anticipated game with the pastors versus the politicians who do you think is going to win and why well excuse my ignorance but i'm not even i don't even know who's playing but i i heard so much about this pastors and politicians game that i have to come out and i have to see who's going to play because you know it, it, it'll i think it's going to be pretty entertaining so yeah so who do you think is going to win? I don't know. I don't know who's playing. I don't know who's playing. Is Neil Ellis playing? Yes, he's going to be here. I guess I'll root for him. All right. <laughs> You're watching Hope for the Hopeless. I'm here with Minister Keith Gray. Minister Keith Gray, we heard that you and Pastor Carlos Reed organized this organization. Is that true? Uh, yeah. All right. So what does it take to get some of this together? Boy, a lot of hard work. So you're, so you're saying you're working hard right now? Yeah, man. Boy, it looks like you. It looks like you. You're putting that hard work right now, Mr. Keith. It's a lot. The, 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 to put on a tournament like this to this caliber, it takes a lot of work that is done in the background, planning, preparation, meetings, and, you know, pulling the resources together and sponsors. And it's a lot of work It's put into a tournament to this caliber, like this caliber. A lot of work put into it. A question, what, what really inspired you, you and Apostle Reed, to start a tournament like this? Well, actually, it's uh, Apostle Carlos Reed that started it. And when I came aboard of, uh, with Youth Against Violence, I just, you know, continued to help him with this tournament. It's been now uh, over, I think, what, over 15, 15 years now. Okay, okay. I know this, this tournament must be hard keeping up. What, what really inspires you to go on every year, to keep it going, and to make it better every year? Well, we try. We, we want to get better every year. Our motto and our team is we, they are shooting hoops instead of guns. That's our main principle or philosophy that we want. We want to make sure that some of these guys, them during the summer months, they can come a, in a safe environment. You know, and have com camaraderie and, you know, shoot oops instead of guns. That's basically really what, what we do. And we want to get better, you know, as time go on and put on a good good, good show. Okay. What kind of what kind of impact do you see this, this tournament having on the community, on the crime rate, on gang violence, everything at large? It's making a tremendous impact. Ba just basically, you know, um, just the uniform is an advertisement. You know, peace on the street. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, bringing all the different um, teams in from different areas. You know, fellas don't have to be, you know, wiping or warring or, you know, just, just the fact that persons can come together without, you know, gang banging or carrying on. That, that's a good, that's a tremendous um, thing to see. You know? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Keaton. You just heard from one of the co-coordinators, Keith Gray. We're watching Hope for the Hopeless. We'll be right back. Don't touch that dial. Hi, my brothers and sisters. I am standing at the newly constructed Hope Community Center. I need your help to complete this. We have done as much as we are able to do with the resources that were available to us. I need you to partner with me in this venture and together help us to help this nation by providing positive alternatives 
to the lifestyle that most of our young people are forced to live right now. Too many murders in our country. Be a part of the solution. Call me, write to me, say, look here, I want to help you. I want to support this venture. Look forward to hearing from you now. Welcome back once again. Nelson Cooper, Peace on the Street Basketball Classic. You're watching Hope for the Hopeless. I'm down here with one of the, ne the next master donker. Mr. L. Dog. What it do, baby? How you feeling? How you feeling right Looking now? good, looking good. So tell me, what? how you think your chances is going into this tournament? Hey, man, I feel good right now. You know, I came here a couple days earlier than the hometown hero Worm. I feel like I warmed the people up to Air Dog, you know what I'm saying? Let them know what Air Dog's about. So I feel like I got, the, I got the people of the Bahamas on my side right now. So I'm feeling real good. So how does it feel to be back here in the Bahamas once again competing in this same competition? Man, I love it out here. Shout out to Carlos Reed for bringing us out here. You know, we appreciate it every time. People are nice. The weather is always amazing. And we're just out here having a good time trying to bring peace to the streets. So what, what are some of the things that the people can expect from you? I think I'm going to come with a lot more creativity, a little, uh, little fun-loving, easy-going stuff, try to get the crowd involved a little bit more. I think that's what we need, get more crowd participation. And I think they're going to see some stuff. Sometimes we get stop and think about the choices we make. Wait, wait, this nigga, yeah, but think what choice think we make. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I ain't talking about sissy. Sometimes we get stop and think about the choices we make. What's up, G? What's with all of this killing in our nation today? You know, God created 6.8 billion people. He didn't make no two alike. You and I don't have to agree on everything. But one thing we have to agree on is that all of us live in this Bahamas. All of us got to live here. Let's don't destroy this Bahamas to our ignorance. Come on, man, we better than that. We saw the other day where a black man made it to the highest position in the world. Barack Obama made it to the White House. That means now that we don't have to fight over petty little issues. There's going to be a time in your life that you're going to have to fight. You got to use your time wisely, man. Let's stop all of the senseless killing. Let's stop all the senseless violence, man. Can't be all like the words of Rodney King. Can't be all just get along. Come on, man. You do your part and I can do my part. And let's bring some peace to our street. Peace. <laughs> 